Hello, my friends. Today I will install Yokogawa member root type level sensors. Here you can see two sensors are combined into one. This one will be installed on the lower flange on the lower level, and this one will with the display on the upper one. They are connected to each other by such a cable that comes with the kit. The cable length is 15 meters. It will not longer be possible to shorten it. It is factory assembled. Connection to the process is on the flanges. Now I will take off the cardboard and show you how everything looks here. Each sensor has its own set of hardware. Inside there are 8 elongated studs, nuts and washers. And in this package there are also gaskets. I haven't unpacked anything here yet. Yes, spiral wound gaskets that are installed between the flanges and the device. Here you see a graphite coating and inside a steel tape curved with the letter VOW. That is, then you tighten the studs, you squeeze the gasket from both sides, uh, the spiral deforms and uh, creates a re reverse force of the spring properly. And this outer steel rings allows you not to squeeze the gasket. That is, it is a kind of limiter. Now I'm going to take off those protective cartoons and show you what is next. Now you can already see that this device is actually a pressure measurement sensor. But it is programmed in such a way as to show you the level of liquid in the container. Here he has an auxiliary camera, his own gaskets which comes with the kit, it's also spirally wound. And here is the camera itself, there are the two fixing bra uh, brackets made of thick stainless steel and two uh, fittings, the so-called relief valve. Then you close the valve on the manifold, a gas or liquid remains under pressure in the chamber and in order to relieve pressure you need to unscrew. This screw is not large and reset it so that the sensor can be safely serviced or repaired. Now I will install the studs and install the device directly on the flange. Such is the flange on the tank. As you can see, it's nothing special. The container inside is empty, so there is no need to worry. There is no pressure there now. I have already baited the studs and stalled the gasket. It will be aligned and now I will mount the device itself. The installation of the sensor is almost finished. I tighten the studs and need to check the alignment. Alignment again and with a wrench uh, we begin to tighten the nuts crosswise. That is first here, uh, then the opposite knot and in circle several times. Uh, because then you pull up one higher pin, the neighbor boring once weakened. Wherefore, this operation must be performed several times, so that there is a uniform tightening. Uh, by the way, dear friends, pay attention to the contact in the terminal block of the main sensor. This contact connector is here specifically for the complete cable. Another proof that uh, this cable does not need to be cut or shortened in any way. Here is a special contact here. Here you see a special contact here, a small cord, so that you can put it out. Well, one upper sensor is installed. Uh, don't forget to wrap 
the film because some painting work may be carried out or garbage may fall on it. That is make sure that the devices that you are mounting have a marketable appearance at the end of the work. And now I am going to install another sensor. I install the lower sensor in the same way. Please note that uh, there is no display on it. The output signal is 4 to 20 milliamps. Uh, that is when the level is at a minimum. The current is the circuit. In, uh, the current in, in the circuit is 4 milliamps. When the level reaches a maximum, the current increases to 20 milliamps. As you can see, the connection here is similar, so I will not dwell on it in detail. Well, the lower sensor is installed, now I will unscrew the channel blocks cover and see what is inside. The covers of the Yokogawa sensor unscrewed well, uh, there are no problems here. Here you see the terminal block and the wiring diagram is printed on the inside of the cover, so you will not get confused. That's how today's video turned out. I hope it will be interesting and useful for someone. If so, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. See you soon.